What is up guys and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about some problems in FIFA 17. I want to talk about matchmaking and the team that I do come up against because these this is just going to be a whole video of the team that I come up against or I came up against this weekend and I mostly lost to. So most of these teams you're going to see a trend. There's two legends in that first team. There's Cristiano Ronaldo, there's Pogba, there was Petit. This team, you see Cristiano and Bale again with Griezmann once to watch Conte, Martial, another ridiculous team, which is, it's just, okay, I'm going to start by saying I've never hit Elite, dude. I've never hit Elite 3. I haven't been even close. The highest I, the highest wins I've gotten in a weekend is 26, and then that was it, and that was one weekend towards the beginning of the year when I, my team wasn't even as good as it is now. And look at the teams that I'm coming up against. This guy has Red Pogba, Chan, and 9 Gold with Merton's Hazard, Salah. De Gea, look at this next team, dude. He has four Team of the Years, four Legends, and just Cristiano Ronaldo and De Gea, man. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I, even if I bronze bench, it's not going to change anything. People say bronze benching changes stuff. No, it doesn't, dude. I'm coming up against these ridiculous teams, which I shouldn't come up against. Almost every single guy. Look at this team, by the way, as well. Um... Almost every single guy in this video is in top or has been in top 100 at one point in foot champs. I've looked it up on Footways. You can type in their gamer tag if you want to go figure that out. You can look up their gamer tag and it tells you if they've been in top 100, what place they are in the region or whatever, and it tells you all that stuff. This guy is Pogba, Inform Pogba, Best, Petit, Hoyt, four team of the years, and Vandersar in that dude with friggin' Walker and Smalling, the most overpowered players in the game. Another top 100 player, it's it's ridiculous. This guy, Piero DSP25, I actually beat him, look at this. He has six legends, and I beat him. This guy has no informs, I beat him. He went to regionals, he's like in the top 12 in America, and I beat him, and I don't know how I beat him. Or I actually do know how I beat him. I, I, I don't know how I beat him, but... I came up against him and I'm like, okay, here's another loss, dude. If I concede one, I'm just going to leave. And right here, here's a screenshot for proof that I did beat him. He went to regionals in Miami. If you guys want to go check that out, you guys can go check that out. I come up against Nick PMRTG, of course, right here. Nick 2018, one of my, uh, I was about to say good friends, but one of my favorite streamers. He has a free, freaking sick team. I don't even know how I matched up against him. Um, but this guy has another ridiculous team, dude. Like... Conte, Pogba, Hazard, that's like, Hazard and Pogba alone, that's like a 1.5 million coins plus Conte, that's like 1.8. This Gabriel, Jesus, Mane, Arnautovic, Conte, uh, Kane, Rooney, all those red cards, or there's two red cards, but all those ones who watch is the SBC Bellerin, the Reed, Smalling, De Gea, Arnautovic, Kane, all this stuff. I don't know how I come up against these kind of teams. Another team right here, another example of a ridiculous team that I'm coming up against. Yes, it doesn't have the best players, but it still ha it still is a team that I, I, I don't know how I'm coming up against. And I'm trying not to complain because I know that to be the best, you should be able to beat the best. And you're probably here telling me, why are you complaining? You need to get better. Okay, that team right there. That's actually from the draft. Don't it just completely ignore that team. That's not even part of the, uh, uh, whatever, what, what we're talking about. That wasn't part of the champs. Another ridiculous team with um, Cristiano Bale and then a bunch of other players. But I know you have to beat the best to be the best. And I kind of don't see the point in foot champs if I come up against these teams over and over because you guys will see about 15 to 16 teams right here and these aren't all the teams I had way more teams that I came up against that were completely godly and I didn't want to screenshot but these I did care to screenshot another ridiculous team right there not maybe that that team is one that I could build and it's not ridiculous but it's still a very 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 overpowered solid team but what I'm trying to say is if I come up against these godlike teams with people who clearly, and I mean clearly, have put money into the game, I come up against them so often that I'm not going to be able to beat them or win the games most likely. I'm not saying it's impossible because I beat that Piro guy who was in regionals. I beat him. It's mo I'm most likely not going to beat the players. And if I don't beat the players... Wait, okay, wait. L l let me start over. I'm most likely not going to be able to beat them, which means I'm not going to get into a higher rank for foot champs. 
And if I can't get into high rank for f champs, then I can't get more coins. And if I can't get more coins, I can't build up my team. And if I can't build up my team, I'm not going to be able to compete against them. And if I can't compete against them, I'm going to lose more games. And I'm not going to be able to make more coins in fit champs. And it's just a revolving cycle that just keeps going on over and over and over. And I feel like if this continues, if I co keep coming up against these teams, I... I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to stop playing for champs or something like that, man. Like I, I, it's getting to the point where it's not worth it anymore. It's just a waste of my time at this point. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try and play one more weekend of for champs, maybe two, and we'll see where we go from there. Yeah, I'm just, I just, I just really needed to make this video because I feel like matchmaking is such a problem. All of these guys were mostly top 100 players, and I don't understand how me, who has never been in even elite. And my skill rating is probably not that high. My ELO rating is probably not that high either. I don't get how I come up against these teams. And yeah, this will be the end of the video. I'm done freaking talking about this stupid game, dude. <laughs> uh, I'll have another video for you guys tomorrow about investing and foot birthday. So yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day. And I'm out. Awesome.